tau overflows period of settlement the third seven year cycle really human life is divided into seven cycles of seven years each it is so because life takes 49 years to attain to fruition to reach the crescendo thereafter you can float even amidst the finite world of conflicts and duality like a bird with wings stretched therefore life is divided into seven cycles of seven years each seven is a mystical number by the time one reaches the seventh cycle life should have been fulfilled inner lamp must lit total fruition must have happened inner beauty and fragrance should create an aura of harmony and oneness many will disagree with this because they live by imagination imagination is not realization at the same time it cannot be denied that imagination can lead to realization under certain situations and circumstances imagination can lead to realization when life does not happen this way different cycles are not allowed their natural and spontaneous process of growth life becomes a chaos we still continue trying to fulfill unlived moments of past and past stages it is as if we have missed the breakfast and for that matter everyone has missed the breakfast of life we use the word brunch for breakfast and lunch together and at dinner time of life we are still trying to compensate for missed breakfast and at dinner time of life we are still trying to compensate for the missed breakfast this we see all around in our lives in different forms this happens all around us and we still condemn this seven year cycles as natural growth because of our wisdom that we consider sublime and the best a seed is known by its fruits actions are known by the result without proper understanding we follow the path that leads to chaos we start our sex life without understanding and knowing what sex is really very early just after puberty and in some cases even before it does not matter whether you are born in the east or in the west human understanding remains unchanged as a result life does not differ than that of any other person of the same age in such open cultural environment the journey begins with the first relationship with great enthusiasm but soon ends in chaos we think we are now more experienced so we can venture into another again the same fate remember without proper understanding of the psychology and the process of the physical and psychological growth of the bioenergy no matter how much efforts you do you are not you are bound to end in chaos when we venture into another life and again the same fate this we consider life life of success in certain fields and failure in most important aspects of our life and living when life asks simple questions 
We do not have answers to those questions. We look here and there, all around, but does not find the answers. The answers lie in the proper process of growth. You may say, that was my life, all chaos, ignorance and conflict, in spite of university honors and excellence in my field of study. We consider that when puberty and maturity comes, we can start life together. We consider it as our birthright that puberty gives us the complete understanding of sex and the way the bioenergy flows. This is our understanding. We consider that when puberty and maturity comes, we can start life together. There is a prescribed age when one can get a driving permit. Also, one gets voting right after a certain age. But sadly enough, there is no such age prescribed for starting our sex life. And that too, we do not consider that proper understanding of sex and the flow of the existential bioenergy at the level of the body and how does it affect the psychology is important. Each male-female relationship begins with great enthusiasm and no sooner than it begins the forces of separation are set in motion. Ignorantly we ignore and deny the foreplay. We consider looking for these. We consider. We continue looking for these under different names as past and extramarital relationship. This affects the life of children. As an awakened one, it is my responsibility to share my insights into life and living through realization. It is now up to you to build your structure on the sound foundations that an awakened one provides or a stumble searching for a black cat in a dark room. Remember this very much. Each male-female relationship begins with great enthusiasm. No sooner than it begins, the forces of separation are set in motion because we have missed our breakfast. And at dinner time of life, we are still looking for missed breakfast. Ignorantly, we overlook and deny the role of foreplay and afterplay, but continue looking for these under different names as post and extramarital relations. This affects the life of children. I have already explained two cycles of seven years. The first seven year cycle is characterized by zero sex. The nature of each cycle changes because of the surge of the bioenergy at different levels of the body and its effects on the psychology. It is in harmony with physical and psychological growth patterns. From 21 to 28, the third cycle is the time when one can settle, one can choose a partner and now they are capable of choosing one, not before. Through all the experiences of the past two cycles, they can choose the right partner now. There is nobody else who can do it for you. It is something that is more like a hunch, not arithmetic, not astrology, 
not palmistry, not I Ching, nothing is going to help you in that matter except your hunch. It is a hunch coming in contact with many, many people. Suddenly something clicks which had never clicked with anyone before, which had never clicked with anyone else before. And it clicks with so much certainty and absolutely, absolutely that you cannot doubt it at all. Even if you try to doubt it, you cannot. The certainty is so tremendous that you cannot deny. With this click, you settle. There are two things, seed and the soul of the seed. Understand the difference. A sperm is the seed. An ovum is the fertilized soil that becomes the womb for the entire process of fertilization, nourishment and development of fetus. When the seed in a sperm interacts with ovum, the body is formed and the role of father is finished. The role of father is finished. The role enters into a different dimension. The, but fatherhood is different. Father and fatherhood are two different things. The process of fatherhood begins after the child is born. Fatherhood is the bridge between father and the child. It is the fruit that grows on the tree of fatherhood. It connects the two hearts through the bond of love and understanding. Fatherhood is the bond bridge between father and the child. It is the fruit that grows on the tree of fatherhood. It connects two hearts through the bond of love and understanding. Love plus understanding gives birth to awareness, an inseparable inner bond is created between the father and the child. <coughs> between 21 and 28, somewhere, if everything goes smoothly the way I am saying, without interference from others or outside forces, then you settle. And the most pleasant period of life comes from 28 to 35, the most joyous, the most peaceful and harmonious, because two persons start melting and merging into one another. Two persons start melting and merging into each other. Then you can and it is the right time to move towards meditation if you have not begun the journey of meditation. This is the period when your worldly love begins to transform into love eternal. And unless worldly love transforms into love eternal, you have not really known what love is and where it can lead you to. Through meditation, love's journey begins to reach the peak. There love becomes your fragrance, your aura and the way of life. Then love becomes your way of life and living you understand the entire process of creation and destruction and life becomes a cosmic dance of Shiva. Each moment something is vanishing and something new is coming and life becomes a cosmic dance of Shiva and you the manifestation of Bhairava.